Okay, so let's let's do an example using uh, total energy head and finding uh, pressures and velocities along horizontal streamlines. Now this, I believe, is called a pitot tube. And what they're used for are these they're these small tubes put underground with manometer fluid here, and they're used to measure uh, pressures and velocities of the streamline. So these streamlines. Uh, can be caused by a variety of things. Maybe in this case, there's a airplane, um, you know, moving this way, a really big airplane, and it's causing the air around it to move. And we want to find out the velocity of uh, the velocity of these streamlines or the fluid. So we can go ahead and call this. Let's call this point zero we'll call that point zero and we want to find the velocity of point zero okay um, <clears throat> notice here this manometer fluid is mercury and we'll call uh, gamma of this this air outside just gamma sub f okay <coughs> so the very first thing you want to notice that um, all of this is in static equilibrium. The the air inside this pitot tube and this manometer fluid, all the way up to this this point here, there it's completely static. It's not moving. The velocity inside this tube is zero. That's what's causing this mercury to stay the way it is right now. And there's a, a, a height difference here of h. Okay. So we know how to we know how to work with static pressures. We just take a path, and the net change of that path is going to be equal to zero. If we start at zero, we go through the tube, come up here, go up here, and we end back at zero. So we know that the change in pressure is going to be equal to zero, right? So let's let's start our path. We'll begin here at point zero. And we'll go this way, and this way, and this way, and this way, and we'll hit, we'll hit the, um, the pitot tube right here. And notice here, we said the velocity in this tube of air is zero. So this point right here is actually called a stagnation point. I just write stag. And all a stagnation point is where the velocity is equal to zero. So at that point, because this the fluid in here is in static equilibrium uh, the velocity here is zero okay so we'll just we'll keep going we'll keep going down this tube we're gonna go down 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 until we hit this point okay here we change from air to mercury okay so we keep going we're in mercury now okay and we come up here, and here we change from mercury to air. Okay. We keep going, and we keep going, and just to be careful, let's just let's just put another point here. Uh, we could have just gone all the way up, but let's put another point here, uh, representing that we are going from underground to above ground. So here we're at ground equals zero. And we'll, we'll come along here. We'll, we'll keep going up. Here, let's let's change direction. Let's go this way. Let's go this way, this way, and then here, let's change directions again. Going up. Okay, now we're back at point zero. So, the total pressure change along this green path we drew is going to be equal to uh, zero. So let's let's name let's name these paths. We can do that in maybe blue. We'll call this path path one. Okay, from point zero to the stagnation point. That's path one. Okay, path two is from the stagnation point down into this tube up to this point. Okay, uh, we'll call this path path three. Right from this point through the fluid, through the mercury up to this point. That's path three. Uh, we'll call this path path four from the mercury here to the ground level here. 
we call this point or this path 5 from the ground to some point here where we start to change directions and this this short path right here we'll call path 6 and then back up here we'll call path uh, 7 okay so we have path 1 path 2 path 3 path 4 path 5 path 6 path 7 okay uh, let's define a few more dimensions. Uh, this distance here, this distance here, we'll call it y3. Okay, it's it's path path four. And then we'll define uh, this distance as y2. This is from the ground level to where we change directions here. So this point. And then up to that stagnation point, we'll call y1. Okay, from from this distance up to point zero or path one, that's that's y1. Remember, we said the total change in pressure is going to be equal to zero along this entire path. So let's write that down. The change in pressure is equal to the change in pressure of path one plus the change in pressure of path two plus the change in pressure of path three plus the change in pressure of path 4, plus the change in pressure of path 5, plus the change in pressure of path 6, plus the change in pressure of path 7. All of this is going to be equal to 0. So change in pressure of path 1, what's that? Well, we know how to calculate pressure using the static pressure equation, but here we're not changing height, we're just changing horizontal distances. So for now, let's just let's call this a question mark. Path 2, path 2 from the stagnation point down here, well, we can use static pressure, negative gamma, in this case, flu, uh, air, so we'll call that gamma F, times the change in uh, uh, height. Actually, this should be positive because uh, it's, it's a negative and we're going down, so that's two negatives. Let's make a positive. That's y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus h. Right? That's the pressure from here all the way down to here. So that's y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus h up to this point. Okay, so that's positive. Uh, that's that's a that's a pressure change. That's a positive pressure change. How about three? Three path three. This path. So it looks like we're going up. So it's going to be negative gamma of mercury times height. Change in pressure of path four. Path four, remember, is from here to here and that's negative gamma fluid times uh, y3 right because that's in air and that's the height of y3 uh, change in pressure of path 5 would be negative gamma f uh, times y2 right here's 5 where we're going up it's negative this is y2 a distance of distance of y2, change in pressure of path 6. Uh, oh, here we're changing horizontal distances. We don't know how to calculate that yet, so we'll just keep that question mark. Okay, so change in pressure of path 7. Uh, that would be negative gamma of fluid times y1. Right, we're going up, so it's going to be negative and, and and you know when you go up the pressure decreases so that's why it's negative and it's a distance of y1 okay and uh, we'll continue this example in the next video